Today, we're gonna bust 25. Oh wait, I forgot to put on the wig. Sorry about that. Today, we're gonna bust 25 huge myths in LEGO City Undercover. And now that Chase is ready, we can start. You can create an indestructible car. So apparently all we have to do is come over here and spawn in a car, and that will destroy the dragger. And now, hopefully, the car the dragger was just pulling will be indestructible. Wait, myth confirmed, guys. Look at this. It's just not even breaking. I can't enter it either. Uh-oh, I'm stuck in here. Okay, so we have to run some tests on this thing. Wait, guys, look at this. I'm just, like, slowly pushing it. This is not a sight you're gonna see every day. Okay, so I just performed the same glitch over here in the airport district. And we're gonna see what happens when you push it into the water. Okay, here goes nothing. Come on. Wait, what? It just it just disappeared. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know guys. I think it probably just fell to the bottom of the sea at this point. Okay, we're here in Cherry Tree Hills. Guys, what in the world? The thing is driving by itself. Okay, I, I literally just performed the same glitch we just did earlier. It's taking off. We just figured out how to make a ghost car. What even happened? Let's see if I can catch up to it. Indestructible and a ghost car at the same time. We just created the most powerful car in the game. It's driving itself. Just a normal day in Lego City, am I right? You can glitch the skateboard out if you spawn in a second player. So right now, the skateboard is pretty normal. But let's see what happens when we spawn in another player. Oh my gosh, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I barely even moved. What is even happening? Okay, what happens if we like do some other stuff? Dude, he's like going crazy. Guys, this is not normal. Oh my gosh. Man, this thing is crazy. Myth confirmed. Wow. I literally just got on it and it's like toppling me over. The armadillo's engine is bigger than the hood. Okay, so basically we're just gonna hit this thing down until we see the engine. Oh my gosh, look how big that thing is. And I can like walk through it. What is happening? I do not understand this game, guys. Chase is a master at shoving people. So you'd imagine he'd be pretty happy when he heard you can push NBCs into the grass in Festival Square. That's gonna make Chase's day if this is true. Hello Hello, person. They ran away from me. This person looks like a good target. They're not falling. Hello. Don't mind me, person. You don't notice anything. Okay, there we go. We got him in there. Myth confirmed. That is so crazy. You can literally just shove them into the grass. Although, I don't think we should be promoting Chase's bad habits. You can ride a horse on a trampoline. Here we are in Cherry Tree Hills. Let's find out what? How does this even working physics wise? Myth confirmed. Why would the developers code that in, man? That's so weird. Nothing can stand in the horse's way. Not even these metal poles. This guy is strong. Wrong. Next up is another horse mi- Oh, you can ride the horse with the super minifigure red brick. So let's make ourselves giant and see if we can ride this thing. Okay, myth confirmed. Oh my gosh, look at this. The animations like don't match how it actually looks. This is like the weirdest sight ever. If you destroy a helicopter while flying it, your character will glitch into the ground. Oh boy, I gotta get used to helicopter controls again. <laughs> let's just try destroying it right here. Hopefully it will blow up. And we spawned. Oh Wow, what? Myth confirmed. Our character's feet are literally in the ground. Chase McCain is in Ninjago. So taking a look at this image here from a Reddit user, we can see this person right here has the same hairpiece as Chase McCain. I mean, who knows? Could this be like an older version of Chase McCain? Technically, we can't really confirm or deny it. So question mark, I guess? I don't know. Boats get stuck beneath the roller coaster in Paradise Sands. We got to come over here to the back of the roller coaster area and I can already see there's a boat stuck here. Myth confirmed. It's literally just stuck. They don't know what to do. Oh, he broke loose. Oh, but he got stuck again. Oh my gosh. Every single boat is just crashing. Something is definitely wrong with the NPCs in this game. The map is based off the real life map of San Francisco, California. Let's bring up a picture of San Francisco. If you play this game, you probably already recognize that. I mean, hey, can't blame them right? You can drive from one side of the map to the other without breaking any laws. We gotta make it all the way to Paradise Sands without breaking any traffic laws. So for once in my life, I'm gonna try to actually be a good driver. 
Oh my gosh, that person just pulled into me. I don't think they turned on a blinker. In order to get through them, I have to turn on my blinker. Oh no, we have to go right here. What if I don't want to go right? Okay, it's making me go right here again. Let's switch lanes. Make sure I turn on my blinker. Switch lanes again and then break right here. Is it a green light? I cannot tell. Oh boy, crosswalk. Almost ran over some people like that bus right there. This is harder than you think to stay within the lines. Okay, there it is. The east tunnel is over there. Uh oh. Oh my. No, we swerved into him. Myth busted. It's impossible to do this, guys. There's no way. Horses are faster than cars. We gotta catch up to this car here. Let's see if we're faster. Wait, guys, I'm barely faster than this car. I am gaining on him. Myth confirmed. Horses are faster than cars somehow. Even though that makes literally no sense at all. There are garbage dumpsters in Uptown that say subscribe on it. Well, here we are in Uptown, and I can confirm it says subscribe. It definitely wasn't a green screen, guys, I promise. The Lego logo on the loading screen is warped. We have the normal Lego logo here, and then we compare it to that. Something is definitely wrong. Part of the pumpkin's engine will always be pink, no matter what color you make it. So we got the pumpkin here. Let's spawn it in, and let's change it to like a blue color. So we gotta hit this thing down until we see its engine, and there we go. Myth confirmed. Part of its engine is still pink. I mean, I guess that makes sense because pink is its default color. I guess we found a way to shade our vehicle to colors. Lego City Undercover has a different cover design in Japan. So this is the normal cover design, and this is the Japan cover design. So, myth confirmed. Honestly, I kind of like how the Japan one looks, not gonna lie. The disc also looks pretty cool, and it also comes with a map which is even cooler. Like, come on, why can't we have that? We're here at the hospital, and no, Chase did not break his leg. You can spawn a car on the roof while on the ground. So I'm gonna spawn a car in here, and supposedly the car is gonna spawn up on that roof. All right, let's try spawning in a detainer, and oh my gosh, wait. Yes, that is crazy. Myth confirmed. Okay, so we can literally spawn cars on top of roofs. This is like some crazy superpower or something. It's impossible possible to destroy all the cars in the hospital parking lot. Here we are in the parking lot. Seems to be a couple cars here. And apparently they say it's impossible to blow all of these up. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of cars. They haven't respawned. Oh my gosh, just as I was saying that. Oh boy, I have a feeling this is true. Oh yeah, the cars I just destroyed have already respawned. Watch this. I destroy this car, turn this way, and then turn back. And a new car has already spawned in its place. Myth confirmed. There is a hidden cutscene easter egg that connects The Chase Begins to Undercover. So in The Chase Begins, the prequel to Undercover, there is this guy here floating on a balloon. And in this game, there is a cutscene where he shows up and he's still floating in the air with balloons. This guy literally made it to the moon. That is such a cool easter egg. Myth confirmed. The horse never despawns. So in order to figure this out, we're just gonna leave the horse right here and come back later. You can shoot the bullet bills at King's Court with the color gun. Okay, there's one and it just killed me. Come on. No, it got us again. Okay, I think that is myth busted because I just hit it with the color gun and it did not change color. I guess Nintendo didn't want their bullet bills turning purple. The same person who voiced Forrest Blackwell also voiced the astronaut from LEGO Worlds. And yes, I can confirm the two voice actors are the exact same. So did Forrest Blackwell somehow make it into LEGO Worlds after this game? There are secret railroad tracks in Fresco. So to do this, we have to bring a helicopter to the mountain range just behind behind Fresco. I can already see it in the distance. Myth confirmed. Look at these railroad tracks. There's just like a secret tunnel here. Hopefully the RFA isn't behind that. I think it's time we go check back up on our horse. Uh, myth busted guys. The horse despawned. I literally left him like right here somewhere and he is nowhere in sight. Somebody lied to me in the comment section. If you have the instant vehicles red brick equipped and then you enter and exit a level, the text at the bottom 
bottom of the screen will remain there forever. So if you don't know what I mean, I guess I'll just have to show you. Let's enter this level here, and then we're just gonna have to leave it once we get in. Okay, we loaded in, now we have to go back out. Okay, so we just loaded back out, and I can confirm the thing is on the screen. And it's literally not disappearing, are you kidding me? Oh boy, guys. I'm gonna test something out here. If we stay in the water long enough, then another pop-up text will show up. Okay, there we go, hold A to return to land. Okay, so we fixed it. That is crazy though. That was a little scary there for a couple minutes. Believe it or not, there's an alternate ending to Lego City Undercover. So we have this wiki page here, and as you can see, this person has written an alternate ending where Chase becomes the bad guy. Now, I don't think this actually happened, but it's still cool that it exists. Jethro Hayes sometimes spawns with a newspaper in his hand. This one is from Mark Tendo, and we can confirm this is true. Kind of a cool little detail. There we go. That's 25 myths busted. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any myths of your own, make sure to comment them down below. Subscribe for more LEGO content just like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.